So let's have an honest talk about competition among third-party grading companies. Because some collecting categories have many more third-party grading companies to choose from that are top-notch than others. For instance, let's look at video game grading right now. Video game grading has three main players that you can choose from if you want to grade any of your vintage or modern era games. You have VGA, you have WADA Games, and you have CGC. Now, make no mistake, the market for graded video games is a little bit convoluted because when we compare the grading scales of CGC to that of WADA Games to that of VGA, VGA uses an entirely different grading scale overall. Always remember, guys, if you're buying, if you are investing in vintage graded video games, a VGA 90 is not equivalent to a WADA 9.0. They use entirely different grading scales. A lot of Timmy's, Kimmy's, and Poindexter's are still confused by that. One of the very first videos I did when I started this YouTube channel was talking about the differences in grading scales comparing VGA to WADA games. And still, there are people out there that are very confused. They think a VGA 90 graded game is equivalent to a WADA games 9.0. That is 100% false. A VGA 90 is a near mint plus graded game. When you look at the WADA grading scale, a 9.0 is a very fine near mint graded game. Therefore, if you have a VGA 90 and you also have a WADA Games 9.0 of that same game, if you crack both those slaps and you send those games back to WADA, the VGA 90 should always grade higher. Always remember that, guys. So when we look at third-party grading, competition can be a good thing, but of course, you do have confusion in the market if a lot of those competitors use different grading scales. Now, when we look at coin grading, for the longest time, we've had two main coin grading companies that are top tier companies that have a lot of collector and investor confidence that use the same Sheldon 1 through 70 grading scale. And those are PCGS and of course NGC. Now, up until recently, there has been a new competitor. CAC decided to open a third party grading division of their own. So now there's three top tier competitors battling it out in the coin grading realm, which is creating some confusion in the market. Because remember, up until this point, CAC was only stickering already NGC or PCGS third party graded coins. They weren't grading their own. The decision to go and start grading coins on their own came within the last few years. So now we have three main grading companies battling it out in coins and also video games. Comic books, though, for the most part, have pretty much only really had one dominant force since 2000, 2001, and that's been CGC. And don't get me wrong, there have been other up-and-coming competitors in this market. There's PGX, which is still in business, and there's also CBCS. But if you compare the prices of a similar graded CGC comic book and compare it with a similar graded PGX or CBCS graded comic book, you're going to see that the market premiums are being paid solely for CGC graded comic books at present time. They are the market leader. So I am glad to announce that PSA is entering this market sometime in the year 2025. And I will say this, I have nothing against Matt Nelson. I have nothing against the CGC crew. I think that they're doing an excellent job overall. I know there have been some scandals. I know a lot of you are really concerned about the quality of their holders, the consistency of their grading, but make no mistake, they are the premier third-party grading company at present time for comic books. I don't know about you, but if I have a copy of Superman 1, or Batman 1, I'm going to send it to CGC before PGX or CBCS. That's how much confidence I place in CGC. 
And I think most of the market agrees with me in that assessment. So now that we have a well-funded third-party grading company that has decided to cast their nets into this market, it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. And there's a lot of people asking me what I think is going to happen over the next coming months, over the next coming years. It really is up to the market to decide. Remember, guys, it's the high-profile investors and the auction companies that put their trust in a lot of these third-party grading companies. So if by and large, a lot of dealers, a lot of investors, and a lot of auction companies decide to start using PSA for comic book and magazine grading, you're going to see an uptick in that market. The average collector, the average speculator, really doesn't put a dent in these markets anymore. It's almost like the horse is pretty much leading the collectors and speculators where they want it to go. It's almost like the average collector, the average speculator really has no say in these markets anymore. And this has been a talking point on this channel since pretty much I started this channel back in 2019 and saw what was happening to the overall antiques and collectibles trade. You guys got to understand, there's a ton of money flowing into these markets in the form of third-party grading companies, in the form of high-profile investors, in the form of auction companies making certain strategic decisions that put them ahead of the overall competition. This is what drives these markets forward. It is not the opinion of the average collector or speculator. They're just going along for the ride. I assure you, if this would happen, where PSA enters this market, and all of a sudden, the collecting community notices that, hey, PSA has the edge. I assure you, PSA graded comic books at that point would pull ahead in value of CGC counterparts. Now, is that a realistic assessment looking at where we are now before PSA even opens its doors in regards to grading comic books? The answer is no. And here's why. Because over the last 24 years or so, CGC has had a lock on this market. So the smart money would be betting that going forward, CGC is still going to have a lock on this market. And that's really what I want to put out as an announcement from reserved investments to the comic book collecting community. You may be sick of CGC. You may want PSA to pull ahead. We also have to see how PSA performs. Are the dealers, are the auction companies, are the high profile investors reacting to PSA more positively than that of CGC? Remember, no offense to Matt Nelson and crew. CGC though, is the devil we already know. Now we're getting a new devil, pardon the pun, but third-party grading is a necessary evil in the overall antiques and collectibles trade that we don't know. This could go either way. Everybody thought CBCS was going to become a major competitor to CGC. We all see how that played out. Just look at sales figures. You're going to see what I mean. So now that we have PSA in this market, it's going to be interesting to see if they can become a worthy competitor to CGC going forward. And for that to occur, we have to let the market decide. And again, the market is not governed by the average Timmy, Kimmy, or Poindexter, or even me out there. It is governed by the grading companies, the auction companies, and the high-profile investors. This is why when a lot of you guys come to me and you ask, what do you think about this grading company? What do you think about this development? in this market for third-party collectibles. What is it that I always tell you? It's not the average collector that is pretty much steering the ship. It is the people with money. It is the grading companies and the auction houses. So this is what I say to all of you. Whether you're looking forward to PSA grading comic books or whether you think they should not enter this market at all, you've got a several year wait to see if they actually pull in collector and investor confidence and they can truly take on CGC in this regard. Remember guys, just because PSA is established and 
they're starting to grade comic books based on the strength they already had grading cards. That doesn't mean much because this is uncharted territory for them. We also have to look at the fact that CGC has been in existence for literally almost 25 years. Do you have any idea how many comic books they have graded thus far? It's got to be in the millions. That matters. When people and collectors and investors are looking at what company to grade with right now and for the foreseeable future, the wins are with CGC, whether you like it or not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I value your feedback and opinions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.